Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. Let us sing this song, this hymn together that says, Because he lives, I can face tomorrow.
Church, let us all come before him and praise his name, for he is worthy of praise. Father God, we stand in your presence this morning, undeserving, yet still you gave us your goodness to be able to be here together as one family, as one body. We thank you, Jesus, that you were the first one to trample death underneath your feet. And because you live, there's no fear of tomorrow. Because we know that our souls are held in the Almighty God. And no one can pluck us from His hand. That's why we lift our hands in worship to you, Father. Because you sent what was most precious to you, your only Son, to be put on a cross, to be spit on, to be slapped, to be insulted for nothing. For the lamb had no blame, and yet he willingly gave his life for us to be washed clean, for us to be forgiven of all of our transgressions. That is why we continue to tell this earth of all the good things you've done for us. And our lips will never stop shouting, praise the Holy Lord, praise the Holy Lamb who is worthy of all praise. Oh, Lord, prepare our hearts this morning to sit at the table with you. If we have something in our hearts that is holding us back, Lord, help us. Help us because you are the breaker of chains. And you are the one who can melt our hearts this morning. Prepare us, Father, for without you, without your presence, we cannot prepare ourselves willingly. We need your grace, we need your mercy, we need your love this morning. For we wish to partake with you, Lord. For you said, who does not eat of my body, who does not drink of my blood, does not have life. Give us life this morning, Father. Prepare our hearts to give us life this morning. Because this life is already so hard. And if we do not carry the Holy Spirit in our hearts, we cannot weather the storms that come on us. That's why, Father, we ask for your strength. Because we do not know what comes tomorrow. But we will not fear for tomorrow because you are the one who holds tomorrow in your hands. And even though wars come and diseases come, we know you hold us in your hand. That's why we glorify you. And we lift your name higher than any name, Jehovah. Oh, I 
thank you for your peace that you've given us this morning. I'm so thankful that I can praise you with my lips and I can sing that you are holy. We glorify you and we thank you, Father, that we are not suffering in a bed somewhere in a hospital or sitting on a floor, a dirt floor somewhere in a vast country. We are here in a church on our benches. We are here standing on our feet in comfortability. It is not raining through our own roof. And we are able to lift our hands and to worship you, Father. We thank you, Father, for this comfort that you've given us. For so many in these times do not have it. And we take it for granted so many times, Father. I ask you, Lord, that you forgive us of everything we have done wrong this week. For all the times we trespassed against you and your word. For all the times we were not obedient when you asked us to be. Help us, Lord, to be obedient to your command. If you say for us to go there, help us, Lord, to go where you send us. I thank you, Father, for all our, all our neighbors here, Father, in this area. I thank you, Lord, that even though we do not reach out to you, you still reach out to us. I thank you, Lord, that when we cry out to you, you say a word of response back to us. That you do not let our prayers fall on deaf ears. You are deserving of all of our time and all of our effort. Help us, Lord, to remain obedient to your word. And I ask, Father, for Pastor Johnny, that you give him the words, Father, the words to transform our hearts and to help us to change the things that are deep inside us that we've buried so deep. Help us to uncover these things and to change everything that is bad in our lives. Everything that does not bear fruit for your kingdom, help us to rip it out from the roots and to plant it with something good, Father. I thank you for your scriptures, for your word that instructs us how to live and how to love and have mercy for others. For you are the first one who had mercy towards us. For when we reached out and ate of the fruit, you still gave us life. You still sent us a second chance. You still sent us the Holy Lamb to die for us. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your vast goodness that you show towards your children. And I ask that you remain with us, not only today, but every day for the rest of our lives. And fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Amen. Let us all sing the chorus of the last song just one more time. Oh, praise the name of the Lord our God. Oh, praise his name for. Welcome, Hosanna Church, to the house of the Lord. If we can all take a moment to turn to our left and right and greet each other in the name of the Lord and 